One feature which is often overlooked is Group Core Scan, which is a simple checkbox. And what it allows you to do is to set up whether the radio, when set to a particular channel, will scan all of the other groups in its scan list. So the way you would use this, if we look at this radio here, it's set for channel five, and this one is checked for channel 16. So when this radio transmits on channel five, this radio sees a busy light, but no audio is heard. However, in the reverse direction with this radio, if I key up on this channel, even though this radio is on channel five and this is on 16, because it is set to scan for channel 16, it has immediately gone to that channel. Now, what you can do for this is you can set up a priority system. So as the radios can have 15 channels, which are all individual groups, and they all talk amongst themselves, and this allows you to have one other group, which is a master group, and when someone transmits on this, all of the other radios, whichever channel they're set for, will immediately wake up and will hear what's said. So this can typically be used as an announcement so from this radio, I can key up and make an announcement. And if you notice, the radio is also showing a blue LED configured. And also every time I PTT, it makes an individual sound. That sound can be changed. It can go dee-dah or beep beep or whatever you like. This alerts all the users to the presence of a priority group call. And that call comes from a radio who wants everyone else to hear it. So if you've got a security situation, you don't want to push an emergency button, but you want to let everyone know that something has occurred. This is an ideal way to do it. The disadvantage with this system is that you can only use one time slot because you have to have radios that are communicating on a single time slot when back to back. However, there is a way around this when used with a repeater, which we'll cover in another video. When configuring the radios in KPG D6, simply tick the checkbox and you will then have this feature enabled. And that's all you need to know to configure this feature within Kenwood Radios.